It doesn't look like there was any place that we could get closer to him that we could see. But Gary was like, all right, we got these bench systems below us of timber, but it looks a little bit sparse. So maybe we can find just that one opening that we need that we can see that and be able to spot him again. Because at this point, he kind of went back into the timber and we weren't sure if he was going to come out at all. Was he was he full for the day and he was going to lay down and you know wait out the storm? Nobody really knew. But we j- jumped down in. We're going through all the snow on this, um, I guess it'd be a westerly facing slope. We're going through and we find this like spring seep that comes off and there's like this dead tree there and we crawl down behind it and we can look and we can see that opening perfect and arranged it in the back of the opening was 300 yards. So everything in front of that was closer, obviously. And now we're in my range, you know, Gary could shoot uh, a lot further, but uh, yeah. I was up to, I was up to bat to shoot on this one. So uh, we just sat there for, it wasn't really that long. And Gary's like, I think I see 